Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show how to make a textured ball and Im import it into Monogame. Just to note, this is the workflow that works for me and is probably not the best way to do things, but I saw some people struggling with the topic, so I, d I decided to share it anyway. Hopefully it helps at least one person. Also, this is my first video of this kind, so I apologize uh, in advance uh, for any issues that crop up, such as audio volume or me stuttering. As you can see, uh, see I'm going to use the Blender 2.8 be uh, beta version, simply because it's uh, new and it's fancy. So, so, let's get this out of the way and delete the, delete the cube add the UV sphere and now now that we will edit the sphere let's switch to the UV editing mode and, and the, I'm going to change things things here a little bit so bef before before we text we texture the sphere it's important to make sure that the uv map is uh, unwrapped properly because i think it can cause some issues du during the re rendering in game so so the this ring and this ring edge uh, mark seam here and let's split it along this and the same from the other side simply so that the unwrap is symmetrical Th there we go and UV unwrap. He, here you can see how the, the unwrap has changed into something a little bit prettier and easier to work with. The reason I've uh, ma marked the, these top and bottom rings as seams is to treat the sphere as a cylinder, which is easier to texture. L learn that the hard way. Now let's go back to the layout, assign material, the base color black, and here And in texture paint, I'm going to ma to make an eight ball from uh, from billiard simply so that it's a bit more fun. Color black, and here.
there we go and here I'm going to color the <laughs> top of the wall ju just uh, to return to the a bit to the UV editing and move this to up a little there we go now it makes it easier to to paint and There we go. Not pretty, but serves purpose. And let's rename this into 8-ball. Now, si now since I've painted the texture directly into Blender, it's important to save the image separately. And, and now we can ex export the model into FAX. Mm, actually, let's go back to the layout. Yeah, this is sele this is selected. And. in the ed in the edit mode shade smooth okay better and now file export I'll, I'm going to take the selected objects to get only the the ball I'm not interested in light and similar up is y up forward is minus z it's okay and now in the for the I hope I'm not making a mistake immediately but in the pet mode we need to choose the strip pad and export there we go now into the visual studio Content pipeline it, it takes a little while to open there we go and in the content I'm going to add existing item mm. document models it's the ah untitled never mind 
copy the file to the directory. I'm going just to name it. To name it. And open con now. This is also important. Open containing directory. But actually, let me just do this first. Okay, now <laughs> there and what we what we need to do is manually copy the exported texture into the content folder. It's not necessary to add the texture to the content pipeline because the pipeline itself will uh, link to me link the model with the texture and now build there we go and as a last step a little bit of code Ball is content load of type model. And in the draw function, Let's see, effect world is mat matrix. Create translation. Let's put it at mm, minus one hundred, minus one hundred. Uh, 30 minus 100 effect use the, the rest is more or less what I already use since I'm importing it into the project I'm working on right now effect enable default lightning and the important thing is effect enabled texture enabled set to true and now just to set the colors diffuse color is color white and ambient color is the same And because of uh, uh, bugging, uh, bugging the content pipeline, I need to also set the alpha of the model to maximum. And of course, not to for forget to <coughs> draw the mesh. And let's uh, let's see. Start and if I didn't make any mistakes 
we should see the the ball pop up on the screen somewhere Oh, there we go. There it is. I apologize for the shameless plugin of my own game, but it's the most practical thing right now to show into. I'm just going to first add create scale. Let Let's uh, increase it tenfold because I don't think you the number eight could be seen. There we go. Now what remains is to play with the rotation and so on. Scale and the uh, initial rotation uh, uh, can be set from the content pipeline. The, there are, as there are uh, you can see the parameters here, rotation x, y, z and scale. And that's more, that's more or less uh, or less it. Hope you hope you enjoyed this short demonstration. I hope it will help at least one person. And once again, I apologize if there were any issues from uh, from audio issues and so on. If you. If you have any comments, if you liked it, if you have any criticism, feel free to post in the comments below. I appreciate uh, any kind of constructive criticism Mo because it helps me to improve. Thanks for watching. <laughs>